focus on your breath. Watch it all the way in, watch it all the way out. And adjust it so it's a good breath to feed on. It's like fixing food. Sometimes you get raw food and you can't eat it, but you know how to cook it, you know how to slice it, you know how to mix it with other things, and then it becomes edible and actually nourishing for the body. The same with the breath. The breath comes in and out all the time, but if you learn how to make it really comfortable, focus on being attentive to the breath, that combination of your intention and the breath can make something that's really nourishing for the mind. Because the mind is constantly looking for food, something to feed on. Just as the body needs food, the mind needs food. It's a different kind of food. But for the most part, we tend to look at look for food in nice sights, sounds, smells, tastes, tactile sensations. And that provides some food, but it's not necessarily the most nourishing food for the mind. The most nourishing food are your intentions, what you plan to do. So you want to look after those carefully. So right now, plan to work with the breath. The combination of breath and intention makes the breath really re relaxing when you need to be relaxed, energizing when you need to be energized. Soothing when the mind feels fr frazzled. It's like looking at your body and noticing that you're lacking certain kinds of food, and so you provide those foods for the body. When it needs salty, when it needs sweet, when it needs something that's more substantial, when it needs something that's just a liquid, you learn to read the body's needs, and then you can provide for it. Of course, the problem is that we tend to get waylaid by junk food and end up eating a lot of things that are bad for the body. And it's the same with the mind. We get waylaid by waylaid by nice sights, sounds, smells, taste, tactile sensations, thinking that that's going to be good food for the mind. But it's like those potato chips, and you can't eat just one. You eat one, and it makes you hungry for another one, that makes you hungry for another one. But it doesn't really provide any real satisfaction. So instead you want to look at your intentions. What do you intend to do when, as you go from day to day, and looking at your life at large? What kind of intentions can keep you going? What do you want out of life? We start by getting your intentions under some control. This is one of the reasons why we work with the breath, is to get the mind under control so then we decide if we really want to do something with it, it'll do it. It doesn't turn into a traitor, running off in other directions. So learn to work with the breath and realize that the well-being, the sense of ease that comes from the breath is only part of the nourishment. The real nourishment is the fact that you've got good intentions going here. You want to raise the level of your mind, and that's really nourishing. That kind of nourishment can keep you going for a long time.